Jamin here. Make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss anything that I produce. Guys, I just finished wrapping up the Lindy Hop Blueprint. Now, you all know I've been working so hard all these years to be able to make Lindy Hop easy for people. So if you want to master it in weeks instead of years, this is the course for you. I put together a lot of history. There's a lot of dancers who've contributed to the art form that people, look, they know a little bit about, but they don't really know their moves and what they've done. I put a lot of my original work in there. Pretty much everything that I've done, I'm going to be adding to this course. So, so far, there's 61 lessons that are in here. So if you guys are serious about not just mastering Lindy Hop for yourself, but being able to communicate it to other people with a simple language, guys, check it out in the link below. In the description below, you'll click that link and find out more information. Now, guys, I saw this thumbnail today and I wanted to take a look at this. It looks like ILHC 2022 Invitational Strictly Finals with Danny Janakuchi and the Revisionists Band. Now, you guys know me. I love the Strictly Lindy competition. I think it is the greatest format to highlight a dancer who has talent in choreography and in social dance. And I think that really represents Lindy Hop well. We have the performance aspect of Lindy Hop, but we also have the social dancing aspect. That's the part that keeps people involved at Lindy Hop, the community part. And I love this competition, and I want to see, really, who can balance those two. Generally, in this competition, you'll see dancers who have a hard time balancing those two aspects of Lindy Hop. Sometimes it's a bit over-processed, so it's all choreography, and other times it's just pretentious, and it's just all social dance, kind of to make a statement. I want to see both. And, in, and in, to be honest, if you look at this, most dancers at this level in a strictly finals that's invitational, they tend to already know what the technique is. They can nail the technique. And that pretty much uh, is summed up by not hurting your partner. <laughs> Everything else is going to be subjective. And that's the beauty about this art form. And so without further ado, I can't wait to take a look at this. Uh, usually there's a lot of egos. People are fired up. The band's hyped. The, the audience is into it. And I've got to keep my filters on. So I'm again, I'm going to be looking for who can balance their set the best. But I'm also going to be looking for who had the most creative moments. All right. So let's jump right into this. For your red tea. I'm ready. Let's do this. Come on, bruh. All right, a lot of familiar faces. Oh, a lot of other faces surprising. It's interesting how some people, sh I don't think some people should be in this particular competition based on all the, the really mature talent that we have uh, in this competition. That's just the nature of business. Sometimes you don't have enough people to be in a category, so you have to squeeze more people in. Um, and that's okay too, I'm a businessman, I understand that. What's up, Creep? What's going on? I'm looking at this competition, I'll be right with you, buddy. All right, All right so this is, this is gonna be uh, really interesting. I see a lot of restraint already. This is like a legit warm up. Um, I have my favorites that I, I typically have a natural affinity for. There's just certain people I like, but I gotta look at them in a way that's fresh to see what they're doing in this one. But again, my stipulations are balance. Anybody who nails the balance part, they're gonna be my winner, my clear winner. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Whoa, Christian from Mel. I haven't seen him in a long time. That's good. He's uh, man. If you guys don't know about him, I think the last time. Uh, I knew he was in the St. Louis area. Very, very astute dancer. Very good. Not a lot of footage of him dancing. That's one of the things that's really interesting. And I think it's kind of a novelty, too, when you don't have too much out there. Um, you know, as time goes along, people appreciate it more. Who's in the hat? Oh, that's Felix. Okay, Felix. Uh, looks like... Uh, oh, hey, Leon. Excellent. We go through one more time, we get half the chorus. That's eight eights. After that, we got a drum break. After the drum break, you'll hear it. Oh, Peter on the mic. Of course, you got to have Peter Strom. All right. The Stromster, man. This is, this is what he does. It's good to see him. One more time for the band. 
Looking forward to hearing this band. This is a new band. I haven't heard them before. So I'm um, looking forward to maybe getting some of their music. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Hey, <laughs> Tadas and Pamela. Thought that was her. Yes. Yes. Ah, that was good. <laughs> that was good. Yes, yes. Okay, Niels and Bianca. I'm digging that shirt. It's pretty dope. Yes, good footwork. And you're going to have some classic aerials, folks. <laughs> oh, that turn was good. Very good. Yes. Nice, that was good. Okay, who is this? Uh, oh, Felipe. Oh, that's good. I haven't seen him in a long time. It's good to see people coming out of the woodworks. Joe Hofberg. Okay. Okay. I like when I see some of my moves too. It's cool. You know, I I always tell people it's great to pay homage to people. Um, but sometimes people don't do that, and I'm not offended when people don't actually do that i think that it just it's it's okay for me but i still like it when i see some of my moves okay oh that's a lot of glazing ribby okay this, let's see let me shut up Ah, like that, like that. That was good. Good stuff. <laughs> that was good. Yes. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, good turn. just I love it. he's one of my favorite dancers out of all of these in terms of styling there's just like a he's like caught in time there's like a vintage look to him ah that was good that slide ah that was good turn my mic down I'm peeking a little bit okay it looks like uh, oh some of the young ones Hydric and it looks like Mandy I'm not sure all right let's see what's going on Ah, there we go. That's good. Like like those uh, indirect shout outs. Those are, again, some of my classic uh, Lindy Hop moves. Love that. If you guys want to learn that move, you should check it out in my uh, courses in the description. Yeah, this is good, too. This is good, too. Okay. Who is it? Ah, that was a good turn. That was excellent. Oh, oh, Randy, that's right. Yes, and Antoine, I couldn't see it. It was too far away. I love that. What I love about this couple, their connection is so tight. How they move with each other. The elasticity is firm. It's a lot of the, the vintage Ani Trudeau influence. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, hey, Leon. Okay, and his part. Oh, that was good. That turn. That secapation. That... Guys, I'm gonna have to go back on that one. That was, that was truly good. Okay, yes, yes. And Felix and Yes, here we go. Tasha, here we go. <laughs> it's good for work. Hmm.
Okay, round two. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, all right. Classic aerials dropping, catching. That was that was nasty. That was awesome. Oh, good entry. That was an excellent entry. I, that was beautiful. Uh, what they just did, uh, Felipe and uh, Joe Hopper. Fantastic entrance. Boom. Ah, uh, good snaps. Just fast, quick changes. Uh, yeah, like it, like it. Boom. Oh, he's all right. Go. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. Ah. Boom. <laughs> it's like, get out of my way, bro. There we go. Oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> Don't rip those pants. I've done it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so close. So close. All right. Swing out. Controlled violence. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Guys. Uh. This was good. I got to talk about this. <sighs> that was entertaining, folks. I, you know, I am so excited about talking about dance. I really love talking about it. And one of the things that I kind of wish I had more when I was doing more of the traveling internationally, uh, that whole circuit, is just to be able to talk like this with other professionals. And you never really get a chance to do that if you're teaching and then social dancing the little bit you can when you're at an event. And so, man, this is so much fun. I can talk for hours, but we don't have a whole lot of time on this video, so I'm gonna get straight to the point. Hat off to everybody who performed in this. You guys know what your skill is. You know where you need to grow. You guys are mature. Most of you know, are really, really, really mature dancers. And you know what I'm talking about. You guys are excellent at what you do. Now, let me first go over those moments that really stood out to me creatively. Cause you guys know I'm all about the creativity. That is what pushes the art form forward. And the craftsmanship uh, makes it to where we have to respect what's come before. So I first got to get out of the way. Those little moments that I liked that made me like really get excited. And, and some of them were, were less animated than others. Some of them were so simple. Like this one right here. I first got to point out this little sequence with uh, Remy and Laura Glace. Guys, they are so dynamic together. Um, look at this little sequence right here. When they come out and then there's they're doing a little Charleston and then boop, boop, right there. That... Those little moments like that, when they're, when they're good moments, you wish that there was more of those good moments or if they would repeat a different way. But man, that was really nice. That gave me a lot of cool ideas in my mind on where I could use that type of syncopated snap in other areas. So great job on that. 
Uh, let's see my next one. Yes, Niels and Bianca, guys. You know, they're they're very dynamic when it comes to the performance and showmanship aspect of Lindy Hop. And you can't ignore some of these aerials. aerials. I mean, I this is what I'm saying. You have to point it out. And so one of my favorite moments is him right here. Jumps up, slips down, catches right before she cracks her head on the, on, the, on the floor. I think that's so good. They're so used to doing that. I'm sure it's not dangerous anymore. I would love to just see them freak out doing a move or watching someone else do something crazy and them just like lose it. Okay, there was another part that was interesting too. It was with Felipe. And Joe Hofberg, you can see when they came out here after Neil, this little intro right there, you see that? What an excellent way of coming into your set. Really cool, it's, it's a Charleston rhythm, but there's a lot of rotation there, and you, you can't really follow how they're gonna connect. That's what's beautiful about it, is that they could have led that in social dance, and I appreciate those kind of movements that are legit, the real movements that emphasize the, the the connecting points that we would have when we're social dancing. Yeah, that was beautiful. Now, my other moment, and I think this was my favorite creative moment in the entire thing. I've got to say this. And this couple, this was so good. This was so good. So let me let me highlight the couple. I believe it was Aurelion and it was part, I forget his partner's name. Please, please forgive me, guys. Uh, this little sequence, right? Boom, well, here it comes. Boom, 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 bop, bop, bop. That, <laughs> keep doing that, folks. Those little syncopated little hops, it's like based on trucking rhythm and Charleston rhythm with rotations. That right there is the future. And I gotta tell you, I was more impressed in this competition by many of the dancers that represent the future than those that have been around for a long time. That's the sign of a healthy community. When you have newer people coming in, they've got so much fire and they're putting forth ideas that are so respectable so early on. That's amazing. I'm so excited to see where the art is pushed forward uh, in a positive way. So guys, my let's, let's shift here. Let's get into my winner. I gotta tell you right now, everyone is a loser except for this couple, <laughs> for me. When it when it comes to, let me give the, the context because some of you guys are triggered by everything I say. The context of the balance that I was looking for was demonstrated nearly perfectly with one couple. No one came close to that balance. I didn't look at them and say, you know what? Oh, I can't wait to see what they can do with social dance. Or you know what? I hope they would do some cool choreography because their social dance, I, I, I kind of get where they're going and I'm kind of looking for something more exciting. No, they didn't do that. This couple actually blended it the entire time. It made me excited. It made me glued to watching them the whole time to see what was going to happen next. And guys, I got to give the trophy for me to uh, Tadas and Pamela, guys. Look at this set. When they first come out, I kind of knew right from this first set boom right there <laughs> and then timing that's when i knew okay pay attention and then look at this they're not ashamed of the social dance look and an ingenuity with movements that you can lead and then a little bit of choreography okay back to social dance back to choreography back to social dance Guys, that was awesome. And then their second set that I liked was when they came out right here. You can see, again, right into social dance, okay? And per boom, Pamela lifted her leg up. It could have been choreographed, but it looked really impressive simply because it wasn't overproduced. Guys, I, look, that was what I was looking for. That's what gets me excited is when people have nuance. When everyone is good, what makes it good? You're looking for nuance. That's the word that we're looking for. We want to see distinction. We want to see personality. We want to see restraint. And for me, this couple, guys, they, man, he, Tadas right now is on fire in so many ways. Pamela has always been on fire. No, she's, no one's ever doused out her fire. No one ever put her out. She's always been on fire, no matter what partner she's working with. There, there's just a level of expertise and passion that is demonstrated in both of these dancers' uh, style. 
and energy. And, and I like the fact that they're working together because I feel at least for Pramela, that this is her best partner so far. She's had a various partners over the years, but I think overall, this is the best match for her. And so far, I, I really get a chance to see and appreciate her ingenuity and Tadas's ingenuity, and it fits perfectly. Guys, for me, they smoked everyone. And that's saying a lot because you have a lot of people who have a lot of experience but they didn't really do the balance that I was looking for. You know, when I look at uh, Remy and Alice, oh, I was I was really, not Remy and Alice, look at that, how funny am I? <laughs> no, Remy and Laura, when I was looking at them, I thought, man, this is this going to be good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I know them and I know what they're capable of. But what I was looking for in this one was more of a balance. And I felt when I watched theirs, it was a tad bit forced it was overproduced in certain ways even though they're both good social dancers it's just that sometimes when you vacillate between social dancing and choreography sometimes it looks like you both are leading because it just looks like we're trying to nail our choreography perfectly and sometimes that sometimes that works when you're doing a different format if you're doing an overproduced showcase where it's okay and even in my book, it's not okay. You know, I want to see a little bit more natural movement from their what they look like when they're social dancing, not just a whole bunch of choreography. And I felt like there needed to be a little bit more restraint from them so that they would have been uh, probably my third place or maybe even my second place. But it, it was just they were missing the thing that Tadas and Pamela had naturally. That's just the way it is. It's really weird how that happens. But my favorite couple, even though Tadas and Pamela made it, they were my favorite couple overall in the competition. But when it looks, when I'm talking about creative potential for the future, the couple for me was Aurelian and his his partner. Please remind me of her name in, in the comment section. They were dynamic guys. I, I saw glimpses of a future <laughs> that's promising, <laughs> not not something that's like uh, total destruction. But I see something that is special with them and i feel like uh i'm excited to see more of what they have to offer man guys there you have it there that was my favorite couple tadas and pamela and i also loved aurelian and his lovely partner guys let me know what you thought about this competition in the comment section below big shout out to the person who posted this it looks like it was an audience member uh looks like devilish P p6 i don't know what that means but thank you for posting this footage on uh, YouTube for me to scrutinize and give you guys my big fat bloated opinion. Again, if you haven't checked out the Lindy Hop blueprint, guys, check it out. I put a lot of hard work into compressing everything I know into one course. The first quarter of the course is going to help you master Lindy Hop pretty quickly. Like once you know that, you're like, okay, they've been making this too complicated. This is this. These are the four things and the two things I need to know on both sides of leading and following. And then everything else will give you the context of history and the moves and where they come from and inspiration and how to dance the faster tempos and what's a Charleston and what's all of this. It's all there. So I put that out there for you guys. So check that out if you want to accelerate your learning curve. So guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comments section below. Who is your favorite and why? And if I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.